Hey, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to this uh, very exciting new way how to beat the quarantine and uh, actually still learn something about God and still learn a lot about pathfindering. And we hope very soon about adventure movement as well. And my name is Dejan Stojkovic. I am the pathfinder and uh, the adventure director for the British Union Conference. And today we have Paula who will be teaching us sign language. Uh, so uh, before we start, uh, we're going to just have a word of prayer. So wherever you are, uh, and uh, uh, let us bow our heads and pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the time we can be together. We pray that for the outpour of the Holy Spirit upon every single person who is at this chat and those who are the Facebook Live. And we pray, dear God, that as uh, we uh, learn about you, we learn also skills that can help our friends and our community. And we pray for the special blessing of Paula as she teaches. And we say, dear Jesus, keep us all safe in this time and help us truly be the agency of change in this difficult time. We pray for all of those who are sick and who are unwell right now. And may your hand of healing be upon them. And if it's your will, dear God, please give them a new life in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Um, I'm going to introduce myself, first of all. My name is Paula, and I am originally from Mexico, so that's why you notice a different accent in my <laughs> English. Um, and it's a pleasure to be with you and to run this pilot um, training that we, we want to see how it works. Um, some housekeeping for the training for we carry please one, mute your microphones so that we don't have interference in the communication. And um, as I said before, at some point I would love to see you signing, okay? So um, I'm going to tell you the, the, the alphabet, some words, and I'm going to scroll through all the screens to see you, um, how you are doing, okay? Um, I, I learned the American Sign Language when I was in Mexico. Um, that's the alphabet that we used over there as well. And it was about 15 years ago when I was in Italy as a missionary that I met a deaf person. And he was a very vib vibrant person, uh, very happy. And he taught me even more how to sign. And the Italian alphabet is like the American one. So we, I didn't have a lot of trouble in learning that alphabet again. So he just added more vocabulary to my language. Now, as any language or skills, if you don't practice it, it goes, it goes away. So you need to keep practicing. And sometimes if you are on your own or you're thinking something, it would be very good if you, um, Think uh, in your phrase and try to look for a sign to go with it, okay? Um, so let's, let's see here, um, oh, before I, I, I move on to, obviously when, when moving into the UK, I found out that uh, England has a different alphabet. So we are going to be learning today the British alphabet and the British sign, sign in. Um, I think that if, if you are in another country that uses the international or American sign language, you will be gaining today um, another part of the signing uh, world because you will learn this alphabet. And although some people, deaf people from different countries have different signs uh, for a country or for a word, um, they still manage to communicate with each other in very few hours, while when we speak Japanese and Spanish or English, we will need months or years, perhaps, to learn that language. So sign language is actually very, very um, easy to learn or to start, yes. Of course, as you progress, you see more the levels of difficulties and depth. As any language, it also has its drama, grammar. And um, so let's, let's start. Uh, with British Sign Language. Let's see. As part of your um, 
let me move the screens here because I think they are on your way as well. Uh, and I'm gonna put just once more like that when I don't need to, to see you. So these are the requirements that we need to complete. Number one is learn the manual alphabet. We will do that. We're gonna have a minimum of three hours. That's where we, well, in the, in the requirements uh, that you need to complete this award. Starting today, we only have about 45 minutes. But these 45 minutes will give you a good foundation to then progress on your own time so that you can then top it, top it up for the three hours. Um, you need to be able to send and receive. So that means also identifying when you see a, a spelling. It says finger spelling at a rate of five words in one minute and using a minimum of 25 letters. So um, you can look for very long words that are 25 letters or you can use uh, 25 words and see. The important thing here on this section is that in one minute, you can send five words. Don't use like a cat or short words. No, use longer words, okay? You need to learn 100 signs. And we will give you uh, some links where you can go and find for more, including, including a dictionary for you to watch videos for that. And you need to learn two songs in sign language. We're gonna learn one today, and the other one I wanna let you to browse. Uh, thankfully, we have a great tool with YouTube, so you can find other words. I encourage you to find Christian words so that you can present it when we come back into our churches. Uh, you can sing it to, to the whole congregation. But in the meantime, sing them at home and practice with your family. And then you need to do one of the following. You need to explain the American Sign Language and the signed English, yeah? We're gonna talk about it now. Or give an oral and written uh, report of something that is happening in your country in sign language, something that perhaps an institution is doing. I'm gonna tell you from the UK, something that I found is happening here. And so basically today, we're gonna be covering those two uh, awards. Okay, so let's just start with this. American Sign Language is AMSLAN. And that is basically the signing grammar. Yeah, for sign language. And it, it, um, it doesn't, uh, the, the grammar is like, uh, you don't have to sign every word of the sentence that you need to talk. And so it's a shorter version because finger spelling every single word, it will take for ages for people to communicate. And then we have the signed English. The signed English, as you can read there, is the same English grammar. And you need to say, you need to sign a word. For example, if it is the red cat, you will sign the, and then uh, red, and then cat. Uh, so it's the, exactly the same grammar as you will find in English, and uh, but with one sign per word. While in the Amsland or British signing, in our case, is just shorter ways, it's a shorter grammar for you to communicate. So I have a uh, link here that I would like you to see. Uh, let's end it here. And we go to this one. You will see my, um, let me see you. Can you all see my YouTube page? Please just say yes with your hands or, yeah, I need to see. Are you able to see it? All right, thank you so much. So let's play it. Let's play it.
Okay, so one is going to do the arms line and the other one is going to do the signed English sentence. Please remove your hat. Please remove your hat. Thank you. Please. So that is the signed English. It's just one action <laughs> for the um, whole sentence. So it really, really um, shortens the, the way to speak. Otherwise, uh, sign language will be for very long, very long to, let's go back to our presentation. Okay, so let's start with the British Sign Language. Um, if you already know the American, you will see that this, our alphabet in England is very different. Um, so I'm sharing now with you from the BritishSign.co.uk website the alphabet. You can find in this website lots of resources and there are also some paid services and they also offer you the different levels of sign language. Um, it starts from £500, uh, £250 uh, each course, but um, today we're going to try to give more or less what it is the level one of the sign language. So we have the letters and this one is right handed. What you need to do is use your left hand as if it was your paper and your right, your right hand as if it was your pencil, yes? So you're gonna be doing all your movements only with your right hand. If you are left-handed, then you do the opposite. Yeah, because you write with your left, that's the one that you're using for signing. The right is going to be your stationed uh, hand, we could say, as a paper. Yeah? So here is where you're going to try these letters. Um, let me bring now the screens so that I can see you. Um, let's start with the... Um, oh, sorry, let me go back and back. All right, so let me see here. Some people I'm going to be moving. I need to see how my hands are displaying for you. So we have the A. This is my pencil. We have A. Let's do, let's remove all the consonants. And that's going to be easier for learning. Um, so. We're going to start now with the vowels and it's A, E, I, O, U. Very simple. A, E, I, O, U. Exactly. And uh, you can go as fast as you can. Yes, well done. I'm gonna go now looking at the screens. Let's see A, E, I, well done, O, U. Excellent, well done, fantastic. Okay, let's do it one more. A, E, I, O, U. Well done, well done. Okay. So now for the consonants, I'm going to start from this screen and then I'm going to go backwards. For the consonants, we have B. Okay, can I see you making the B? So it's like a B <laughs> laying down. Okay, B, C. Yeah. Well done, B, now the C. C, D, let's do D. You are with your right hand, if you are right-handed, D. Okay, we skip the E, and now we do the F. F, yeah, F. Uh, 
but let me move my screen a little bit more so that I can see. That's the F. Now we have the G. For some reason, I love G. <laughs> I find it so easy. I don't know. G. And H. Your pencil slides. H. 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 And now you will see the J. You stand with them where your I is, yes, with letter I, and you just make the shape of the J. 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 Exactly. Let's go to the next one. K. Yeah. K. Let me see if we have any more screens here. All right. So I'm going to stop where we have. All right, yeah, let's move it here. It's okay. We have L, it's just here in the middle. Yeah, L, M. It moves to, move to left handed. The screen is moved to left handed. Oh, sorry, thank you. That's it, right handed. M, N. The O, we know that it comes here. P. P. Q. So with your paper, it becomes a hole, an O, and then you just hang it here for the Q. R. Um, let me check my screen now, see if I can. Uh, yeah, I can see myself. Okay, R, yeah, R, S. We've been signing with this index finger, but S is the only one that we change to the little finger and we go like if it was a U, but we use the little finger, S. S, T, V, you make the V on your hand, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, that was easy, isn't it? Uh, let me put you a little bit more here. So let's start, uh, B, consonants, B, C, D, F, um, C. Okay, let me move to another set of screens. Yeah, so we're in G. H, 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 H. excellent. H, H, um, J. J, K, okay, well, I'm gonna move to the next one. Uh, Paula, yeah. just a question. Uh, we had a, a somebody who just asked, is it possible to have a letter K again? They're saying it was a little bit confusing, letter K. Yeah, with the K, you put your finger, only one finger, uh, your left index finger, you put like a little um, stick, and then with your pencil hand, you make a sign like this. Exactly. You need to kind of make the K with your finger. Yeah? Exactly. K. Well done. Well done. Um, okay. Yes, are we all there? All there with the K. So let's move to L. M. Yeah, M, N, O, you know, P, P, yeah, Q, R. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next screen. R, S, with the little finger, 
S, well done. S, T. V. And move to the next ones. Well done. V. W. Okay, let's see the W. Uh huh. W. X. Yeah, let me go to the next one. So we have still screens. Y. Yeah. Y. Excellent. Let's see. Y and Z. Yeah, that is very, very easy. Okay, well done, everyone. Do you feel confident now with the alphabet? Yeah. Let's try this one. Spell your name. In my case, my name is Paula. So I will do P A U L A. I got it easy. <laughs> yeah. So P A U L A. Practice with your name. I'm going to see you practicing. Hey, Paula, just a question came in. Uh, uh, somebody yes. saying. Uh, somebody's asking a question to whom we should face the palm to uh, while we're signing so to whom the palm should be faced yeah. okay the palm normally will be to you and you normally keep it like this you can sign like this but if the other person cannot see you some of them obviously are so advanced that they will see what you are doing and some people just uh, sign it here like with the, the hand, let me put in my, my screen, my, my video so that I can see how am I showing to you. What am I, here am I. Okay, some people will be talking and you have your hands, let me put it lower. You have your hands here and you are talking and you're doing all the sign here. So you have like P-A-U-L-A and they can see that. Um, other people, when they're talking, they have the hand here and they do Paula, yes? But you have it here and it's like sideways in the lateral part and they are able to, to sign. Um, I think those are the two comfortable ways. Some people, especially at the beginning, we, we sign here and we say P-A-U-L-A, yes. Um, you can see it better, but the other person, especially if it's a beginner, cannot see because you're hiding the L. So I could be doing an L, an M, an N, a V, whatever they don't see, yes? So it's better on the side, yeah? Paula, yes? I notice that when the, the, um, when the letter is coming, the finger can also move a little bit forward, yes? A, E. I O U. Yeah. So okay, let's see your names. Um Biju. B, B, B your name. Yeah. So let me see. A. I don't see your fingers and an N or M? N. Okay. And G E L A Angela. All right, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, next name shall we find here with Yanka? Yes, do you want to do yours? B I A N a, A. Well done. Okay, who else wants to do it? Let me see. Who feels ready? Put your hand up if you want to do it. Your name. Put your hand up in this screen if you want to do your name. Yeah? I need at least one person for each screen. <laughs> what time do we have? Okay, we have 20 minutes. All right, so let's see. Uh, Tioka? Tioka, do you want to try? Yes. Do you want to try to spell your name? Okay. 
Go for it. Show us, please. Your name is A. What's the first one? A? A T. Okay. Oh, is she gone? Maybe. I lost her. Where is where is? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know where. Ah, I saw it. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Mandela. Let's let's try again, please, from the beginning. Is the first one T? Okay, T. Mm -hmm. Y. I would say either keep your hand. Is that L? Same or keep it like this. So like E O I N. E O I N. Okay. Unmute your. Um, let me see if I can unmute you. Yeah. Unmute your microphone, please. Okay. Tell me, please, the letters. It was. This is A. And then oh, the A is like this. Look, this is the first one. A. So as it, if I can see better your hand. Yeah, lower, lower your hand. I mean, lower your screen. I owe you. Yeah. 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 Good. A. But put the hand like that open. Okay. Your paper needs to be open all the time. Excellent. So it's A, first one. Then? Um, it's T and then A. T. And I lost her. Oh, where is Mandela? Mandela, where is she? Oh, I think the video is gone. Okay, I'm gonna have to try another person. In this screen, anyone wants to try? Yes? Okay, uh, David and Okello, yes, okay. my daughter, Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca, let's see. I need to see Rebecca okay. oh, again, where is she? Yeah, uh, we are here. Uh, we are here. Yeah, but I don't see your screen. Hold on, Let's see where are you? Uh, uh, Paula, if I'm right, when they start speaking, uh, the screen will come automatically up. So let's say. Uh, uh, ah, David, all right. David, yeah, yeah, we are here. Let me uh, go then. Uh, we yes. should be on the first page, probably. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, Rebecca. Okay, you finish it. Well done. Yes, is Rebecca with K? Yes, all right. Well done. Thank you, Rebecca. Can I go? Please, may I go? Yes. Who was that? Let me see. Thank you, Rebecca. Ezra. Who said, please, may I go? Ezra. 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 Okay. Oh yes, Ezra. Okay, try you, please. E. Ready, Ezra? Yes. E. E. Carry on. What? Uh, A. Okay. Show me again your A, please. A. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. All right. So. Me. One last volunteer to spell the name. Me, can I have a turn, please? Can I go, please? <laughs> this is so nice. Okay, I see here Abraham. Yeah, go ahead, Abraham. So your name is. You can you can say the letter when you are uh, spelling. This is another thing that actually I should mention. When we spell, we need to spell it with our lips. So we need to say it, although we don't pronounce the sound, okay? We can say it. So go ahead, what is your name? Uh, uh, show me again your first letter. R. I. Oh, hold on, hold on, where, where is she? Rachel, she's an Abraham. Uh, I should be able, okay, I see you, okay. Your first letter? R. I. R. The I. R, R. 
It's Rachel. Oh, R. Okay, so you put your hand like that, and this one goes like this. Not like this, like this. Exact R. Mm -hmm. A. R. A. C. C. H. H. E. Excellent. And L. L. Well done. Okay. Give a big clap to everyone. I know that you have been practicing. <laughs> and um, now let's move to the next thing. Let's move to this one. Now you can mute everyone so that we can talk. And let me see. I want to minimize this. Okay. So we have done the right handed, and if you are left handed, you can do that one as well with the opposite hands. And you need to learn a hundred signs. Um, <laughs> this is my son. Okay. So there is a dictionary that you can uh, make note of this website is signbsl.com. And that is a dictionary where you can type whatever word you want to find out how to sign it. And you will be given a little video where you can see the sign and you can practice. Yeah, so a hundred uh, signs. Then um, I wanted to show you the numbers. I'm going to see if I can do it at the end. But another um, just to give you some Wait, more what do you want to do? Uh, uh, words. Pardon? Okay. So the second website where you can find resources is british-sign.co.uk. And as you can see, uh, this is a screenshot from that website and you have greetings. Like for example, a very simple is, how are you? How are you? How are you? And the other one is the family, where you have the F for family. That is family. Mother, you can put the M here, but there are some people who say mother. The M comes to the head. Mother. Mother. Um, Father, you make another ref, but this time you tap it. It's father. Grand, yeah, if you can say grandfather or grandmother, yes. Brother is this one, like a little friction, no big one, a little friction in between your hands. Brother, sister. I don't know if it's because sometimes sisters are nosy, but sister is two times sister. Uh, Paula, uh, just a question here. Yes. You can, oh, right. Uh, somebody Pardon? is asking, does, does the BSL use sentence structure similar to ASL or ESL? So does the BSL use a sentence structure similar to ASL or ESL? Okay, it might be a little bit more uh, similar to the ASL. ASL is the AMSLAN that we talked at the beginning, yeah? Um, so British Sign Language will be a little bit more similar to that one. ESL is the English Sign Language. That one is word, sign, every word in the same grammar that English uses. So British Sign Language, it will be more, this website, it will be more as for the AMSLAN, right? So I hope that answers the, the question. Um, so these two websites, and I can recommend, and also uh, for the finger spelling, uh, because you need to be able to recognize it, what you see, what someone is showing to you, there is a, uh, in the British Sign .co.uk website, you can find a link to games, finger spelling games or forums. And uh, I made this one. I entered just some few words that you can see here at the bottom, cat, dog, bird, turtle, and zoo. So what we can try now, let me see what time is it. Yeah, 
Let's see if we can find cat, the word cat. Yeah, I'm going to show you is this C and then A and then T. All right. So let me see. Um, see you. Yeah. Is everyone able to see clearly the games? The, 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 the letters. Yeah. Um, then we need to find the word dog. Yeah. Have a look on your screen and see if you can find dog. Where is dog in this screen? Let's have a look. Uh, go away. Okay, let's look for D. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it was somewhere here. So D O G, dog. Bird. Is anyone able to see bird? If you want to see, if you want to tell us where the bird sign is, uh, unmute yourself. I'm going to come to the very beginning, and whoever is unmute, uh, dog, we come first one, okay? Yeah, dog is, uh, D is in ninth column, uh, seventh row, D, and it goes down and to the right. Yeah, D O G, dog. Excellent. Bird. Yeah. Bird. Uh, birds on the le left hand six columns. Uh, yeah, birds at the on the left. To the right. Yeah. Okay, this left. Uh, how many rows? Six down. Three, four, five. Three. Yeah. Birds on the left. To the right. I R D. Excellent. <laughs> And um, turtle. As, a, as they're looking for turtle, uh, Paula, This one cost me, yes. Uh, we have another question. Is it possible that you can recommend us the book after the session so people can continue, just for something to keep on your mind? Yeah. Okay. Two, three, four. Stop. This one? Tur er, yeah. So, U E turtle, yes. And the zoo, I don't remember where zoo is. It said on the uh, eighth row. Eight row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there is a Z, there is an O. But this one is an F. Second row. Second row. Z L G. On the seventh row. Diagonally. Diagonal. Diagonal. Yes. Z O O. Well done, team. Well done. <laughs> okay, we found all the words. This one. Look at the website signlanguageforum.com BSL. Signlanguageforum.com BSL. I will send you these slides so that you can then uh, follow the, the websites that I'm recommending here. All right, so you need to learn two songs, and we are going to learn today one that is the colors uh, for the rainbow song. Um, it's just a shorter version where you just learn the colors and then as a homework you look for another one and record yourself uh, doing the songs so that then you can show it to your instructor, your director or someone so they can give you the badge, okay? So the song of the rainbow, the colors is um, um, red and yellow yellow is red because of your lips yeah red and yellow the yellow is like a blink thinking of the earrings that is something golden yeah red and yellow, yellow. and pink and green yeah 
orange is like an O, but for some reason it's here. Orange and purple and blue. Blue is for the veins that we have, yes? But you normally do like this. I can sing a rainbow. There are two signs for rainbow. One is just like this, and the other one is that you use your two hands and make the arch above you. For today, we're gonna use the two hands, okay? So, uh, I, can, I can sing a rainbow, rainbow, rainbow to... Okay, let me sing all together because that word so bad. Don't, <laughs> don't look at, the, don't hear too much of the words. Okay, so let's start together. Uh, red and yellow and pink and green. Orange, Orange and, and purple, purple and, and blue. I can I sing can a rainbow. rainbow. Sing a rainbow. rainbow. Sing a sing rainbow, rainbow to. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, go. Red and yellow and pink and, and green. green. Orange and Orange purple, and, and, purple blue. and blue. I can sing, can a, sing rainbow. a rainbow. Sing a rainbow. A rainbow. Sing a rainbow. A rainbow. Okay, that's a, a short song. Um, but you have also learned the colors. Yes. And there are some more colors, for example, golden and uh, silver. Yes, you have golden, silver, and it's like a sparkling, it's something so big. So it's S, yes, you have your S, silver, and you have your golden, and you can go to the dictionary that I mentioned before and you can find more colors. But at least you have one song there and you have also the colors. Um, there is a, um, another website that I found out here in the UK. And it's called BSL, BSL Zone. And they, um, they started uh, 12 years ago in 2008 because the deaf community didn't have facilities um, for the news, for entertainment, um, movies things that they will be able to enjoy and understand. Many of them train to read your lips, but you can imagine that that is not fully uh, inclusive. So this is, uh, let me just stop a little bit here, the presentation so that I can show you the website. Uh, this is it. And for example, now with the coronavirus, um, if you go to the bbc.com website, you can find some help um, and is mainly reading so they can read through. But this one of the BSL zone is fully done for them so that you can see some films, you can see some, and these are the categories they have. I encourage you to visit the website and check the About Us uh, page so that you can see where they get the money, how they make the programs, and how they um, are growing, we could say, um, from, from, the, from the very, very humble beginnings that they had. And you can see the first page is uh, coronavirus, work, benefits, and legal position. So all those things are very important for those who are not able to work now or businesses that need to need to have some financial assistance. So they are very informed here, the latest news. And um, they have some awards for uh, things that they have been doing very well. Um, it's worth visiting. Words, go for the children uh, section. They have lovely um, topics and you can see how they sign and you can identify words. So that's another website that you can uh, check. Um, and before we close, I need to show you something for inclusiveness uh, with the deaf community. So I have another video here. 
please bear with me and we are going to it's one of the TED um, talks so it's 15 minutes um, all right yeah we go for it and with that we will be coming to the end of the um, sign language at some point i might be able just to advance it a little bit but it's all right can you hear well no. we can't we can't hear anything paula anything no all right all right so i'm gonna give you the Okay. I'm going to give you a brief of what it is. Um, she obviously is deaf. There is someone else doing uh, the voice for her, and you can read at the bottom. This is this is also a good practice for us because if we cannot hear, you can imagine how the word is for them. Are you able to read the letters at the bottom? Uh, let me see you. Can you read? Please show me with your hand thumb if you can read what it's at the bottom. Yeah? Is it clear for you so you can follow? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is an American sign language, but there are many, many words that uh, we can identify that we also use in the British sign language. Uh, Paula, just to let you know, uh, many people yeah. are finding the video quite choppy and they're struggling to see what's happening. All right. So maybe Thank we should you. just move on from that point and then... Don't worry, we'll I will stop it. Ring. Uh, some people even asking, is it possible for us to get the link for the TED Talks uh, so they can watch it later on after the session? No worries. Um, so what what this lady is talking about is how she she is a person who works in art and uh, and how her experience is with getting inclusive included in everything. And here is the YouTube link. I put it as an inspiring. That is the link that you will get as well. And uh, it's it's a very lovely conversation that, uh, let me see you, why I cannot see you now? I want to see you guys. All right, yes. So it's a very lovely conversation where she says, um, how life is them and how we can try to include them. And as, a, as Christians, of course, we, we know that we need to include everyone and it's, it's a lot that we can share with them about God, about Jesus. Um, so I encourage you to, to watch that video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it, at, when we finish, I'm going to put the links on the chat so that you can check them. And also I'm going to share this file with you when we finish, okay? So that you can follow these, these links. Let's see what is next. So we have managed, we have only 10 minutes to finish and I think that's going to be for the wrapping of the session. So you have an alphabet, now you need to keep practicing that alphabet through the games for identifying the letters or through practicing in the mirror or practicing with um, the dictionary that I mentioned, the uh, DSL dictionary. Um, and 
try to practice and practice with your finger spellings, yes? And um, you need to do five words in one minute and you need to, to keep trying that. Hundred times you need to go to the online dictionary and find more. You have the colors, you have the family, you can get some greetings as well, words, and then anything else. I love my sign that is camp, yes? Um, whatever you want to find, go to that dictionary online and find them. And as you practice all those things, that will be adding to your three hours of learning. We have learned one song today, and you need now to look for another song, and I encourage you to be a Christian song that you can have for worship time. And, uh, and so learn that song for you. And then um, read or give a report the BSL uh, Zone website and the, um, and the TED conversation can be taken also as your report so that when you talk about um, the, the, the impact of that lady and you will find some more things in YouTube. Um, have a look on American Sign Language on YouTube and also British Sign Language. Look for B, BSL in sign language uh, on YouTube so that you can find uh, the things more for the British context. And I think that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Record your, your, um, record your, your five words per minute, record your hundred signs, uh, and record your uh, song so that you can show to your uh, instructor, um, director, counselor, whoever it is the person who you need to show that you have done and that you have the knowledge. Lovely okay. to be with you. Okay, well, big thank you. you. Big thank you. Uh, uh, if uh, if you a uh, big clap for you with the music microphones for you, Paula. Uh, we are very thankful for your uh, for your class. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, um, just to let you know, guys, we're gonna we are now coming to the end of this. Uh, you hear it, Paula. Uh, so uh, just to say, big thank you to all of you. But please don't go um, because uh, we need to. Um, we just need to uh, uh, give you some information.